Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Black, and welcome to another CKY Sports Sunday. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, we'll take you down the road to the Stanley Cup with Game 2 in the Campbell Conference Divisional Finals. Team Canada is on the road to the medal round at the World Ice Hockey Championships in Moscow. A good day on the diamond for the Montreal Expos, but another tough one to swallow for the Toronto Blue Jays. Fuzzy Zeller was stellar again, putting his way into the winner's circle at the Heritage Golf Classic. And Larry Holmes says enough is enough after failing to recapture the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship in Vegas last night. That and more on the slate tonight. Stick around. We'll start it off with Playoff Fever and our NHL report up next. Sports Sunday NHL Report is brought to you by Molson, North America's oldest brewery with nearly 200 years of brewing excellence. Welcome back to Sports Sunday. If there's one thing the NHL playoffs have shown so far, it's that anything and everything can happen at any time. The predictably unpredictable postseason has produced a number of surprises and don't think the tales of the unexpected are over yet. One thing is constant in the second round of the playoff campaign. All four divisional finals are now tied up at one game apiece. Tonight, the Campbell Conference teams hit the ice for game two in their best of sevens. And in Edmonton, the Oilers are getting a run for their money from the Calgary Flames. After getting knocked off in game one, the Oilers found the pressure on their shoulders tonight. The Flames came close to burning them again. But the Oilers squeaked it out in overtime. Badger Bob Johnson's flames on a roll. Glenn Sather's Edmonton Oilers know what they have to do, but they didn't do it early. On the power play, Yerry Curry coughs the puck to Hoken Lube. He prances in home free and beats Grant Fuhr. His second goal of the playoffs. He is a happy man. Calgary leads 1-0, but the Oilers come back with 24 seconds left in the first. Paul Coffey, patented rush, moves in behind, feeds Glenn Anderson. His fourth in the playoffs, 1-1. Second period, the Flames cash in on a shaky Fuhr. First, Gary Suter's shot is partially stopped, but it finds the net. Fuhr getting a piece, but not enough. 2-1 Flames. The Oilers come right back, though. 31 seconds later, Randy Gregg tees one up and lets it rip. Reggie level and can't stop it. It's a 2-2 hockey game. Here's the backbreaker. Paul Reinhardt, head man pass to Dan Quinn. Now watch, he will get his stick on it. The puck will roll to the Edmonton goalie. Now, easy save, right? But uh-uh, look behind you, Grant. It's in the net. 3-2 Flames on the fluke. They made it 4-2 after two. Then in the third, the Oilers use hustle and muscle. Watch this goal. Craig McTavish, a beauty. The Northlands Coliseum crowd on its feet. And the Oilers down by only one, 44 seconds into the third. Then watch Mike Krushelniski squirting, sliding, poking over to Mark Napier. It's a tie game, 1-4. The Oilers then go up. Yerry Curry drops a pass to Dave Hunter. He won't let one go behind a partially screened Lemelin. The Oilers take the lead for the first time in the game. It's 5-4. Now just over a minute remaining. Flames pulling out all the stops. Doug Riseboro, the high shot. Joe Mullen gloves it, puts it down, puts it in the net. 5-5, we go to overtime. But the Oilers put it away. 104 mark. Glenn Anderson left alone to make the move on Reggie Lemelin. He does it perfectly in front. And the Oilers pour off the bench. They celebrate. They tie up the series with an exciting 6-5 overtime victory. So the series now tied up at one game apiece. The Flames showing some savvy against the Oilers who look a little shaky at times, but this series, if it continues this way, could go to seven games, and from what we've seen so far, it could go either way. The Saddle Dome will be the site for game three on Tuesday night. The Toronto Maple Leafs are heading home with smiles on their faces after two games in their Norris Division final with the St. Louis Blues. Tonight, the Leafs earned the all-important split in their series. They shut down and shut out the Blues. Tempers are flaring in this series, and this kind of tells the story all night. Both teams not afraid to rough it up. The Leafs take the lead in the second parade. What proves to be the winner? Greg Millen, couple of stops, but Peter Inichek puts it in. It's 1-0 Leafs. That's all they would need. Ken Raggett was ultra sharp in the Toronto Nets. He stopped 35 St. Louis shots. This one of the spectacular nature on Kevin Lavalley. He is so quick. St. Louis wasn't scoring goals, but they scored some big punches. Lee Norwood, the sneaky uppercut on Brad Smith. Third period, Leafs add some insurance. Borea Salmon controlling the power play. The slapper tipped in by Tom Fergus. 2-0 Leafs. 
And then Salming later gets a long one. Just trying to clear the zone. The Blues with an empty net. This one will coast all the way. It's going, and it's going. He watches it will go all the way into the net. The Leafs shut out the Blues in game two. It's 3-0. So the Leafs have to be happy with tonight's outcome. It's 1-1 in their best of seven. The Norris Division Final will resume Tuesday night in what should be a raucous Toronto Maple Leaf Gardens as the Leafs keep pulling off miracles. Meanwhile, a night off in the Wales Conference Divisionals. They get back at it tomorrow. The Adams Division Series all tied up at one as well. The Montreal Canadiens coming back last night. The series shifting to Hartford for tomorrow's meeting. And the fourth 1-1 deadlock in the best of seven. The New York Rangers with the benefit of home ice now. They were walked all over by the Washington Capitals last night again. That series getting back into the groove tomorrow. That's our NHL report. We got baseball, basketball, golf, and a whole lot more. Don't go away. CKY Sports Sunday will continue right after this. Sports Sunday NHL Report has been brought to you by Molson, North America's oldest brewery with nearly 200 years of brewing excellence.